Welcome to this how to do video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure temperature of several forms of several material forms. For this experiment, I have here some materials. I have here a plastic part. I have here a metallic surface. I have a magnetic surface and a plastic surface. The name is ABS. All these materials, they have several forms. You can see several geometric forms and they have also several emissivities. How to do it? How to measure the temperature of various forms with various emissivities? You can see I have here on the right side an infrared heating plate. The infrared heating plate you can see on our thermal image has a temperature of 63 degrees C. And on this thermal heating plate, I'm going to position my objects. So first my metallic object, then my magnetic object, and one of my plastic part. And we are going to measure also our special met special plastic surface, the ABS material. I position it also here on my heating plate. After this, you can change the contrast of the image by using the manual button and you can decide the minimum and maximum temperature of your image, what you want to see. And now I'm going to create my special forms for each of the geometric form of the materials. I go to the configuration menu. You can click on this item here or you can also go to the menu point tools and configuration. And here I can now add the quantity of my measure areas. I have here four measure areas. So I add one, two, three, four areas. My first measure area should be my metallic surface on the right side. So I decide that the name should be metal. And the second probe should be my plastic part. So I decide I want to have the name plastic. The third area should be my magnetic area, my magnetic probe. And the fourth area should be my ABS material. So you can see my metal probe has five points, five coordinates, five corners. So I decide that I want to have a shape and the geometric form of the shape should be a polygon. If you click on polygon, you can see here on the right side that the menu creates me automatically four coordinates, four points, but I need now five points. So I add an additional point. So I have now five points, each point for each corner. And I go now to apply. For my plastic part, you can see if you have a look on our heating plate, my plastic part has also one, two, three, four, five corners. So I decide also that I want to have here a polygon with five points. So I add one additional point. I go to apply. My magnetic part is very easy. This is a rectangle. So I can go to shape and I can click on the pull down menu and I can choose user defined rectangle. And my ABS plate, you can see here on our thermal image plate, this is an ellipse. So I go to shape and I'm choosing the point ellipse. 
I go to apply, OK. And now you can see that I have all four major areas on my screen. You can grab one of these areas at one corner. You can hold the control button on your keyboard and you can hold the mouse button and you can move the complete measure area to another position. I do this also with a metallic measure area. So I grab one corner, I, I hold the keyboard, the control key of my keyboard, and I hold the mouse, left mouse click, and I move this object to my position of the metal. So the same for my magnetic surface and also the same I do it for my plastic surface. And now we start with the metal form. So I grab one corner and I move this corner to my right position. The same for the next corner, the same for the third corner, the fourth corner, and the fifth corner. So my magnetic measure area is very easy. I grab one corner, I move it to the right corner and also the right one. My ABS measure area is an ellipse. So I grab also one corner with a mouse click. I hold the mouse and I move the borders to the right positions so that I have it in the end the right form. Okay, the last one, my plastic part, has also five corners. The first, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. So, now you can see each of my of my probe has a special form and for each form we created now the right geometric form. You can see that we have several materials and these materials they have all other emissivities and you can set the emissivities with our software PIX Connect. I'm going to show you how to do this. Go to the configuration menu go to the tab measure areas and here you can now choose one of your measure area for example the abs and on the right side you can now set the emissivity specially for this own measure area you can activate the item emissivity and you can here set the right emissivity especially for your material. In this case, it's our ABS material. You can click on apply, okay. And now you have the right temperature of this material. You can also see on the right side that you can see now each temperature of each measure area separately in the digital temperature group. So all my measure areas are assigned here and I can see all different temperatures.